Okay, the parts you get for the uh, shower install. You got the uh, bottom track. You got a series of uh, drain slots, holes in there. Face that towards the tub so it uh, drains into the tub, not into your uh, bathroom floor. You got your uh, top track. Aluminum insert for the uh, curtains to slide in. And this goes on the uh, wall away from your uh, curtain itself. This will uh, stick up and down. Then you have the uh, shower curtain itself. Got a little uh, catch strap on it to uh, hold it closed. You got a hole here for a uh, catch which we will uh, drill into the other uh, side piece. And then the uh, catch itself they've got it uh, tied up here to the end and they give you a uh, single screw to go through that and hold it into the uh, side piece. So we'll get this started and uh, go from there. The first thing before you start is to uh, check your fit. Got the bottom piece. I we'll have to uh, take out this little end cap and then the uh, trim that goes along the bottom of the tub I'm going to shorten that up so undo my uh, three screws, four screws cut out the uh, silicone they had here with the knife and I'll trim this down that way uh, our back piece will fit up against the wall and won't have this pushing the bottom out so you won't have to put a bunch of silicone in there trying to seal it so we'll remove that and trim this down then we'll get to uh, mounting the bottom by uh, trimming the uh, back trim piece here around the tub and did the same thing with the front this allows our bottom track to set up against there and it gives me just a little bit of an overhang on the tub I can fill that in with the uh, caulking but uh, before we peel the uh, double sticky off I'll grab a uh, towel and we're going to uh, run a little bit of alcohol through here and clean it up make sure there's no grease or oil. Okay, alcohol that and let it dry for about a minute. Then we'll go ahead and peel the double sticky off of the bottom of this thing. Make sure your drain holes are to the tub. Center it in. And we'll go ahead and press that down. The alcohol, make sure that uh, We don't have any scum or oil or grease. Okay, so that's setting pretty sturdy. I'm not a big fan of double stick tape, but by the time we uh, caulk around the uh, bottom edge here and then on the inside, it should be pretty sturdy. Okay, I set the uh, door portion in 
it's at inside of the bottom track then uh, took a measurement from the corner clear down to here and in mine it came out to 21 and 7 8 so we'll come up here yeah, I've got the uh, same mark 21 7 8 from the uh, corner so when I uh, peel the sticky off I can stick that right at the same place so it'll be the uh, same distance from the bottom of the wall to the top. Yeah, try not to get in the way. Uh, I did run the alcohol through here and did get a little bit of dirt off the wall. Now the tub was uh, pretty clean. So now we'll uh, get to the sticky tape. Peel the backing off of it. And when you uh, set this up, make sure that you've got the little uh, track guides at the top and not sitting at the bottom. So we'll go down here, get rid of the tape, but try not to block the camera too much. Right here is my mark. And we'll just get that right on the mark. Press it in. So now we'll go around, we'll do the front edge. on the top edges and that's to help hold the top piece on. So lined up to the mark I've made on the wall. Press it in. Okay our uh, top piece is actually uh, two parts. I've cut this down to uh, the length I need. You got the uh, plastic cap here and the inside is a uh, aluminum piece that runs the whole length. Your uh, shower curtain will go inside the uh, track here and the aluminum will give you a little bit of uh, strength And it will go in just like that at the top. You know, I've got the bottom edge fanned out a little bit. And that's so it will stay upright a little better than what it's showing now. Just uh, weave these little studs into the uh, shower rack. And you can lift this up and down a little bit to adjust it. 
make sure you get back in the track at the bottom when you're done. This goes on the outside of our channel here. Get the bottom tucked in. And, and up at the top, you got uh, two pieces of sticky tape, one here and one on the other side. I already peeled the other side off, so. Spread this apart a little bit, set it down, set your tape, go ahead and do the same thing to the other side. Okay, and in our next step, get a measure from the hole to the bottom of the track, and that's for our little uh, bullet holder. Now keep it closed when you uh, shut it. So I'll take your measurement and uh, transfer it to the other side. And this only drilled through the plastic. I didn't go all the way through the wall. That way I can use the uh, wall as uh, part of my support also. Okay, okay that completes that. Uh, I did spray a little bit of uh, RV silicone in here. So that would open and close nice and smooth. I did take a towel and put a little bit of silicone down on the bottom track. is off a little bit but I'm hoping as this sets and relaxes it'll straighten out a little bit had uh, two extra screws from the uh, little end caps down on the tub I went ahead and ran one uh, through here on the front at the top then on the uh, back side you got a little plastic strip you can uh, pull that out and I ran the other screw on the back side of that. So I didn't have any extra screws. So there's our shower door and should uh, be neater than the uh, old shower curtain. Keep the water out.